Alright, so we got this. We don't know. Is she like... This is, a weather is she looking for friends? Is she just into this girl? I don't know. We'll find out. Our sister's having some troubled times in her life adjusting to her new school. Oh, chat, check it out. Look, we got these new Philly Jiu-Jitsu sweatshirts. Brand new, hot off the presses. Alright. So we got this story. The, what does that say? Heaven? The Heaven at the Edge of the World by Samantha Greenbrier, Green 2. Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. So we got some turtle people. Captain Allegra t looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would fix the, find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at the horse island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship and he yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship settled sailed towards the sunset all right so this gives us a little insight do you think these people's father was telling them that the earth was flat because i feel like a lot of kids write things about you know what their families tell them and there's a chance that these kids grew up thinking that the earth is flat well we gotta turn on the lights here we go I also just discovered that we can, like, pick things up and move them around. Girl Scout. Role model. Ooh, let's put it in the tape player. How long do you think this song is? <laughs> Alright, let's let's flip it over. Can we flip it? Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. We want side A. Put side A in. The same one. We want this side. Clearly I haven't used a stupid tape player in a very long time, Chad, because I can't get the thing to work. Okay. Let's look at this. Knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Oh, so boring. Political thriller. Put that back. Snore. Alright. What's this? Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. The X Files. Dad's a fan of the X Files, it turns out. What's this? Oh, the coaster. We don't need that. We got some pizza. We got some pins. Oh, this on. is a severe weather. Warning. What's in here? The Northwest Weather Service. We got a check back here. What's this button? Bratmobile. That must be a band. Dawn County, McKellen County, and Wistaria County. Can we close this? Stand back up. Let's go. All right, we can turn this off now. All right, let's keep going. They really need to work on the electricity in this place because it is dark. Where are we? Back in here. I guess, is this the... Oh no, here? That's where we came from, so it must be this way. Getting all turned around in this massive house. Here's a pamphlet. Oh yeah, the dad is the writer because the mom is the, hey in a circle. Yeah, we're trying it out today. I, I, we got this so long ago and I started it and I, by started it, I mean I walked through the front door and then stopped playing it. So today is the day that we finally dig it out of the archives and play it. Um, so we know the mom is a forester lady, 
And so the dad is the is the author. So we got this forestry manual here. All right, boring. Controlled birds is also ancient history. <laughs> what is this? Coupons? Yeah, right. There are no more, no more controlled burns. So much tortilla chips. We got some coupons for somewhere. Do people even do coupon books anymore? I don't know. All right, put that back. Let's look. Let's look around. Throw that on the floor. Mom can pick it up when we find her somewhere in here. All right, the struggle with the lights. It's, it is true, yeah. These fires have gotten a little out of hand with, with this. Um, but someday they will figure out a process, a better one. <laughs> also, if people can just stop having those uh, baby reveal parties and setting fire, things on fire and, you know, forest fire areas. That will hopefully help. A little bit at least what is this room what do we have here let's try to figure it out yeah yeah no more explosive balloons in the middle of the water you can have an explosive balloon there I know I know they do you know everyone's just trying to take away our fun that's all what there's a cabinet here did we turn on the lights in this place oh here's a lamp okay these lights are like do not work okay What's down here? Crouching. Crouching tiger. Hidden items. All right. Nothing in here that I can find. What is this room? This is the music room. Okay. Is there another light switch somewhere? Because some of these lights are turned on and some are not. Like, this light is not turned on. We got a rug. We got some records here. Lots and lots of records. Someone's a music fan. Alright, what's in here? Reproductive system worksheet. Alright, so Samantha has to learn about the reproductive system. We're not going to go into this because I'm pretty sure all of us just want to not relive those moments of our childhood. All right, put that back. What is this textbook? World history. Put that back. We can't lift up any of these newspapers. They're too heavy for us. Anything in the trash? We got a record player. What's this record? Mm -hmm. Somehow I always knew that someday we'd be through. But now that it's happened, I just can't believe it's true. Oh, gosh. All right, we listen to the record. I don't know if we get anything out of out of listening to the records, you know, like, or the tape, I think it's just creates ambiance. What do we got? What do people feel like drinking here? We've got, uh, what looks like hot sauce, fresh whiskey, Irish whiskey, fresh whiskey. <laughs> Put that back. It, lo it honestly looks like a container of hot sauce, but we'll leave it. All right, what's this letter? Crouch. Can't crouch. Let's go. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, this is from March 8th, 1976, guys. I write to inform you that, unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have, in fact, been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, as and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. 
Yeah, extra unfresh. Yes, exactly. All right. So we got we got dumped by the publishers. I mean, he wrote books about what are they about JFK? Oh, dull. No wonder why they didn't catch on. They're boring. Get rid of this boring book. Okay. What's over here? What is this? Shampoo? What we got? We got some vodka here. Put that back. Okay. We got a orange soda. We got more grape soda. We got some shots. Shot? Who wants to do a shot? Shots! Alright. Can we play a different record? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it is a vinyl room. Yep. This is, this is just... Are these the speakers, I guess, to the record player? It looks like a cabinet, but it is not. That's where the speakers are. Okay, so Dad was like a struggling... writer. Mom runs around in the forest all day. One daughter is in, yeah, it's an old cabinet, okay. Um, your grandmother had one? Okay. Um, we were away in Europe, apparently, for an entire year. Somehow we could afford that. I don't know how. I guess we did odd jobs. And our sister was struggling, you know, finding herself and her new crush on some punk girl in high school. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. What stuff that's missing? Are you stealing? Do you have a drug addiction, Sam? Like, what is, what is this? What is, what is this? Oh, it's lip stuff. Cherry stone. Stone. Cherry stone. All right, put that back. What is this, money? More coupons? Yep. Put those back. Stuff that's missing. Our sister's like a klepto, but of her own stuff. Highlighter. We have a bunch of random, like, what are in these boxes? Just tissues or something? Like, tissues and receipts and checkbooks. Oh, we got a letter. Here we go. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6. Samantha. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. From Lonnie. Oh, they're Street Fighter friends. That's cute. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. <laughs> so after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. <laughs> but then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. There we go. Her name is Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie's she's a girl. over tomorrow. Okay. All right, there we go. We're making progress. So Sam's got a date with the punk girl to play Street Fighter 2 because she failed. Because apparently Street Fighter 2 is at the 7-Eleven. And yeah, making progress. Okay. What do we have here? We got a lamp somewhere? We just have that lamp. All right, we made it to this room. What is this spooky room? Oh, it's locked. Who keeps random rooms of their house locked? What if there's a fire and all of these windows are barred? Hmm? If it was 7 Eleven <laughs> arcade tourneys. Are, is that like, is that, was that any rough stuff? I saw someone get stabbed with an ice straw. <laughs> I remember, I. I'm like, is this somehow, did at some point they have things at 7-Eleven? Because, I don't know, maybe I'm too young. I mean, I remember in, you know, Best Buy or GameStop or something, but maybe at some point back in the day they had games in there? I don't know. 
an icy straw. My gosh, I could go for an icy. I haven't had one of them in years. I love them though. Worldwide timetable. Oh, Katie's departure. Oh, so this is the 90s right now. Oh, I feel old. I was like, oh, in the 70s. It's not in the 70s, it's in the 90s, guys. Flight 881, 1210 to Amsterdam. Okay. Anything? Pencil, we don't get any of this stuff. Stoop. Boone County. Can't look at that. Okay, let's go. I think we did everything. Did we do everything on the first floor? No, there are still rooms on the on the other side of the foyer. Over here. This room. Is this locked? That one's locked too. Okay, so let's go upstairs. I feel like I'm the worst at finding keys. We're going to end up needing all these keys and I'm not going to know where they are. Just give it time. We'll get there. Okay. Pack of cards. Oh, it's probably like under all of the things I didn't actually lift. What's this? Newspaper clipping. Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly into Thursday, depending on the speed of progress, according to the Forestry Service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in drier months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Smoke will likely linger in the area. Okay, so she is, you know, kind of helping organize these controlled fires. Did our mother die in a freak fire accident probably not but you never know all right we need lights this place has the worst electricity is there a light over here no what is, what is happening Sorry, chat. I'm trying to find a light switch in this place. Here it is. There we go. Oh, we got some radioactive material down there. All right. We'll get there in a second. Oh, we're going in. That was just, <laughs> that was just the landing. All right. Do we got some lights in here? Grab this comb. No. Oh, we got a planner. Couples swimming, bowling, not swimming. Cookie class, cooking class. Good thing I could read. Take apron. Ballroom dancing. Oh, this. They have all sorts of activities that they do. Couples bowling. Oh, it's just the same things over and over again. Okay. What is this for? Notice of temporary personnel transfer. Bruce Pendleton, head of service. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock, Flintlock National Forest, effective 9294. Please see attached. The overseeing officer at Flintlock Forestry Station, senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier, is charged with the supervision of transferred personnel. So we have Bruce Pendleton. It has sent her information, letting her know that there is some sort of officer being sent to like, I guess, learn and assist in the burning process. All right. Okay, keep it on moving. What's here? Anything here? Maybe not too far away. No. Ooh. Set case, Bratmobile, potty mouth for Sam. Okay. It's weird hanging out with girls. <laughs> Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. 
But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. There we go. I haven't stopped playing it since. Our sister has a crush, guys, with on Lonnie. Mixtape, yeah, mixtape. That's something no one does anymore. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenprior, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. It's sad because I look at this writing and I'm like, crap, her writing is terrible. But I am sad to say my writing looks just like this. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is, frankly, absurd. Compared with Katie, who is only three, three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go to all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Samantha sounds like a handful. Sam, stop leaving every light on in the house. You're as bad as your sister. Oh yeah, I am leaving every light. Have you seen this house? This is a terrifying, creepy old house full of serial killer ghosts. Yeah, they weren't that warm. <laughs> Alright, Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. <laughs> Never. Oh my gosh. So, chat, that when I was an undergrad, my first year, freshman year, the we, we made this friend and he let me borrow his Kingdom Hearts 1 game because he somehow had it with us. And so I had never played it. So he lent it to us and... I never, I still own it. I still have it. I never gave it back. And it has been many years. <laughs> I don't even know how many years. 12 years, something like that, since I've had it. Long time. All right. So, word of wisdom, don't ever let me borrow a game because you will never get it back. I also have games from other friends that I just never gave back. There's a binder. CD, let's play the mixtape. I guess we have to find a CD first. CD player. This is, oh yeah. Cassette tape, put it in. useful thing once that you should store your valuables in the top drawer I think of your it's no rebel girl <laughs> yeah it's no rebel girl um in your top drawer of your stuff because when people rob you or at least if they're good at it they start from the bottom and work their way up because that way they don't have to close a drawer in between like you could just keep opening up the drawers so they're more likely to get caught before they reach the top drawer anyway just something to think about. For anyone that hides stuff. What is this cartridge? It's a video. Is it a game cartridge? Yes, it is. It's a Nintendo cartridge. Where's the Nintendo? It's missing. What game is it? Adventurous the Cat Returns. Oh my gosh, guys. So, I had this game for Nintendo. What is that? Is that that's not regular Nintendo though. This is like in 64. It's like not as long as a Nintendo cartridge. I had this this game for Nintendo and it was a Mickey Mouse game. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm just struggling. We got to crouch. 
Come on, let's go. Chun Li moves. Ooh, Chun Li. Fireball. Lightning kick. Kick, 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 kick. Helicopter kick. Air stomp. All right, we got some Chun Li moves. Is there something written on the back of it? No. So we got our strats for Street Fighter. So now we will be Ultimate Street Fighter professionals. Throw this away. Okay. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. I am 100% supporting this idea. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beepers. Oh my gosh, guys, beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. Haha, ha, I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I believe, like, he... I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is he watches... What is that? Oh, 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210. But I could s see in his eyes he was lying. <laughs> Alright, so our sister has this, like, BFF Lonnie or whatever they are. This seems to be her room. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, Sam's room. Alright, we need a combination, which we don't have. Yeah, me either. I forgot that existed. Right, we need to find combinations, guys. I haven't seen anything that has anything resembling a combination on it. Samantha Greenbrier. She's in metalworking. Okay, well, I don't blame her. I would get a C- in metalworking, too. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on beveling leveling on edges show more pride in work all right the teacher did not like that what is this dr jitters i had a dr pepper today guys put that back she needs to clean up all right turn this lamp on anything under here no she likes All right, Groove. We got some Weezer, Eddie Vedder, Biohazard, Dinosaur Jr. Oh, I have a dinosaur. I remember Dinosaur Jr. I have a CD. All right. What was that? Let's crouch. What's this? The Brother 150. Of course it's a Phaedrus. New for 1965. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Alright. So they're building a motorcycle. I still haven't found anything that looks like a code. Or something that could be used as a code. That's okay. Alright. What do we have here? Good fellas. No lie. Pacific Institute. Art. Is she super into art? Put that back. Alright. What is this? Move this. The Misfits. <laughs> super into Ophelia from Hamlet this girl is? I don't know who Ophelia from Hamlet is. This girl drinks... Oh, that's the painting. Okay. She's got some uh, classics here, guys. Let's see which ones we've read. Probably none of them. A few of these. A few of them. I've read one, two, three, four... Five, 
six, seven, seven of them. That's pretty good. That's a good, that's a good track record.